Yes, this is the third video in the same freaking outfit. Get over it. Hi guys, it's Ellie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ellie Arquette. I am a psychic medium, a manifestation coach, and founder of Ellie Arquette Cosmetics. If you guys are interested in the makeup on my face, it's from my own vegan, organic, cruelty-free makeup brand and skincare brand. Go to elliearquetteshop.com if you want to purchase it. If you guys want to book a session with me, go to elliearquette.com. Uh, for coaching or readings, give this video a like, subscribe, and let's get into today's video. I'm really pissed off with this channel because every time I sit down and I do a really cool video, it gets it goes under reviews for like days and days and days. And then sometimes they give me the green light where it's like it means it can be monetized. And most of the time I get the yellow sign, which means it's fucking useless. So, um, and I did a poll and a lot of you guys want more of these conspiracy. I'll do true crime, but I can't like talk about anything that's gonna trigger the uh, uh, the algorithm, okay? So anyways, I wanted to do a reading on Lindsay Perlman, this actress that just suspiciously passed away. I don't know anything about her. I don't know who she is. Apparently she's been on like General Hospital and a bunch of stuff. So. I'm just gonna read some of the information regarding her and then I'm gonna do a reading about it because obviously I think that she got whacked and I don't know, maybe maybe she didn't. Okay, so she was also on the TV show Empire. I don't have regular TV so I don't watch any of these shows. I've been, I've had Fire Stick on HBO Max and Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. Like I don't have regular TV, I don't watch regular TV, so I don't know these shows, I don't watch these shows, so I have no idea who she is. So Empire actress Lindsay Perlman, autopsy complete after she was found dead inside a vehicle, apparently. I, didn't, I don't even know how she died or any of that. So the actress bo actress's body was discovered inside a vehicle on Friday near the entrance of Runyon Canyon Park in Hollywood. Now, I go to Runyon Canyon all the time. I've done a spirit box sessions where um, Holland Drive, uh, in order to get to the um, Runyon Canyon where you go hiking, so a lot of celebrities are there. Um, when you go hiking or walking or whatever there, there's a lot of celebrities there all the time. So there's two different entrances. Um, one is through the Mulholland Drive, which is like on, on Mulholland Drive. The other one is the bottom of the hill through the Hollywood um, area. So her body was found at the entrance. Oh God, what is this? So it was the, as the entrance of Runyon Canyon Park in Hollywood, so on the other side of the hill. So Lindsay Perlman's autopsy has been complete after she was found dead on Friday. The 43-year-old actress' cause and manner of death have not yet been confirmed with the case deferred pending further investigation according to the Los Angeles County Medical Examiner Coroner, okay? The former Empire cast member was found dead. A popular hiking trail in Hollywood, California, the Runyon Canyon on Friday, which is the date the coroner lists as the day she died. They don't even really know when she died. Perlman had been missing since February 13th and was last seen in Los Angeles around 9 p.m. local time, according to friends and family. On Thursday, her cousin Savannah Perlman tweeted that the former, former General Hospital actress phone was last pinged on Sunset Boulevard. Savannah also wrote in her Twitter thread that Lindsay's sister has asked that the share the national suicide hotline. So the family is insinuating and suggesting to the public, like maybe this was suicide. Please note that you are never truly alone. So that's the story they're going with. I don't think she committed suicide, you guys. I don't know. Lindsay's husband, Vance Smith, confirmed his wife's death on Instagram. The police found Lizzie. Lindsay, she's gone. He wrote Friday afternoon, adding, I'm broken. Sure you are, buddy. In addition, the actress, rep Michael 
Shavarani released a statement obtained by People. Oh my God, here we go again. The fucking People magazine. The People magazine knows everything, honey. Uh, obtained by follow, <laughs> obtained by people following the discovery of her body. Rela I'm, I'm in my pajamas, so if I look like shit, I mean, I look cute because I have makeup on, but I mean, just, just excuse me, okay? <sighs> okay, so we are deeply saddened by Lindsay Perlman's passing. The statement read, the family has asked for privacy during this difficult time while the process and grief. Perlman's other notable television credits include in Selena, the series on Netflix. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so let me just find out what her sign is. Alexa, Empire actress Lindsay Perlman, what's her zodiac sign? She was a Sag, apparently. Okay, let's see what the hell happened to her. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna use the regular tarot. If I get stuck, I'll use my other decks to um, uh, clarify. So thank you, Spirit. What happened to Lindsay Perlman? Did she get, was she murdered? Did someone kill her? And they're trying to put her under the suicide notion like every single person that dies that is in the spotlight in hollywood they're all suicide cases really they're making billions of dollars they're famous they're gorgeous they're young but they just all kill themselves you know what i mean i mean come on man so this card came out that's the queen of cups this is a water sign maybe she had water in her chart the death card this is her all right this is her you guys um, I don't so comment down below if you guys know her zodiac chart if you guys know her astrological chart she might have water in her chart like Scorpio or Cancer or Pisces I actually do see that when I look at her photos I do see water in her chart I want to say Cancer that's what I want to say so we got the death card next to it so that's her let's see what else wants to come out um this is the five of pentacles feeling left out uh feeling broken um what is that all about the nine of pentacles this is about feeling broken and feeling like this is about like like you're just you just don't have the the, the energy and the strength to fight anymore um and you're just like so victimized and you're so broken down that you just can't fight anymore and you're just basically hiding like be, um behind the wands you guys see that nine of pentacles i mean i'm sorry nine of wands it's just like i just don't have the strength to fight anymore i just can't go on anymore so maybe she did commit suicide i don't know uh we have the seven of cups in reverse so this is interesting all her options turned upside down she was out of options weird okay um this was she was in contact with people this is about communication and okay let's see what else wants to come out the ace of swords was just truth and clarity the ten of cups this is family marriage she, she's married the world card so maybe her marriage also ended. I don't know. There's just like a lot of similar things. Uh, um, uh, Knight of Cups, the Justice card. Okay, so it feels like, so, so she passed away, she died. She was battling something. Maybe she was battling addiction. I don't know, something had happened to her where she felt kind of like abandoned she didn't have the strength to go on. Um, all her options turned upside down. Like her cups were all, they weren't filled anymore. They were all upside down. Her cups were, were, were empty. Um, and um, the truth, she found, oh my God, okay. She found something out about her relationship. Some sort of truth and revelation was revealed to her. She ended a cycle um and then we have the knight of cups and the justice card i have no idea what this means right now the knight of cups and the justice card let me 
use my other cards to clarify because I have no idea what this means. So please clarify. Please clarify Knight of Cups and the Justice card. What is, I have no idea what that means. The Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords. Five of Cups, Disappointments. The Tower, holy shit. What happened to her? Something, something about her relationship. Oh my God, this is insane right now. Wow, okay. I am trying to um, clarify the Knight of Cups and the Justice card. The Knight of Cups talks about like romance and love and you know, expressing love and your emotion towards someone that you love. The Justice card is about divorce. Um, I think that her relationship had ended maybe. She found something out. We have the Ten of Swords, uh, defeated, um, broken, disappointed. She got the tower. Her world just turned upside down. This is about her relationship, the Ten of Cups and the Three of Swords. Maybe she did commit suicide. I don't know, you guys. Not, not everything in Hollywood is about getting whacked. That's what the cards are suggesting. The cards are suggesting this has something to do, to do with her relationship. She found some sort of truth. On the other deck, we have the Ace of Swords that came out. She found something out. There was maybe like a, like a lover's triangle, like a third party situation, her world. And that she, something to the notion that she was tired and she couldn't move on, she couldn't go on anymore. The Nine of Wands and then the Five of uh, pentacles something about not having the strength to go on to move forward I don't know maybe a lot of people in the industry just just generally speaking kind of suffer from like mental illness you know what I mean like it's a really really tough business it's a really really tough um, industry to 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 become successful at and you're always getting rejected and it's just it's it's a really you have to have a tough skin to try to make it in Hollywood, man. It's really true. I'm not trying to be negative if anybody wants to try it out, but, oh my God, yeah. Wow, so whomever her husband is, we got the death card in this deck as well. We have the seven of swords and then the two of wands. So something happened in regards to her relationship. Yeah, someone cheated, um, maybe she was at her wit's end, like she couldn't do it anymore, she couldn't go on anymore. What happened to her? I don't see murder here. I don't see anyone plotting or trying to get, you know, killing her. I don't see any of that. Um, so let me just, it's, this is a little mysterious. This case is a little mysterious. Um, okay. Maybe she was involved with someone and the husband found out, I don't know. I don't know you guys. This is my fourth video, so if I'm slow, I'm a little out of it and I'm tired, it's because I'm recording my fourth video in the same fucking outfit. <laughs> in the same fucking outfit, okay? Um, the Emperor. Wow, they were divine partners. So they were, so her and her husband were divine counterparts. We have the Emperor and the Empress. This is twin flame shit right here. Um, let's see what else wants to come out. Hmm. What happened to her? There's a third party situation. We got the three of uh, swords in this deck as well. I also pulled the three of swords in this deck as well. There was a third party situation. Somebody was cheating. Somebody was younger than somebody else. Maybe she was cheating with someone that was younger. Maybe he was cheating with someone that was younger. Um, she was famous. This is about her fame and being an actress, being in the public eye. Um, this is the husband. This is, I think that somebody was having an affair. And the third party situation, the younger man and the older man, the more mature man and the younger man or vice versa. Yeah, I don't know if she committed suicide. I don't know, I don't know. I, I don't know what happened to her, but I don't see her getting killed. I don't see the murder. I don't see, I don't see it. I don't see, I don't see her being murdered. The two, two of cups, the moon card. Wow, the high priestess. Okay, so 
This has something to do with her relationship. The Two of Wands, I mean, I'm sorry. The Two of Cups, I'm tired as fuck. The Two of Cups, the Moon, and then the High Priestess. So, something that was hidden in regards to her relationship, something became clear to her. She found something out. Maybe the husband found something out about her or she found something about the husband. There was a third party situation. There was cheating. There was a scandal. Uh, there was money involved also because I keep pulling the money card. So yeah, I think, I don't, I don't really see her committing suicide, but at least I can 100% tell you guys that it was not, like she was not taken out by, by Hollywood. She was not. This is the second time I pulled the Seven of Swords. Um, I pulled this card out again. This is about fame and being in the public eye, being in the, the actress and, you know, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I guess we shall find out what else we, is going to be revealed to us. So I feel like there's something about the relationship, something about her, her marriage and relationship. I don't know if they were separated. I don't I feel like there was like, cheating going on somebody cheated somebody was cheating maybe there was a separation there was a third party situation i see a younger person and a, a more mature person and like she was in her 40s i saw somebody younger um and i don't think that this has anything to do with illuminati or anyone trying to take her out she wasn't really significant enough so i didn't pull the addiction card you know what i mean i didn't pull the devil I didn't pull the addiction card like being like addicted to drugs or anything like that, anything like that, but I don't know how she died. So that was not revealed to me yet. So maybe we'll find out. Definitely let me know your thoughts down below and I'm gonna just call it a day. I'm fucking tired. This is my fourth video. Love you guys. Thank you for being here. YouTube, please stop, stop revising and reviewing my fucking videos because if they continue doing that, I'm gonna have to change my entire channel up again. So that's really pissing me off. And it's like made now making me motivated to like wanna make videos here. So anyways, love you guys. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe and like this video and send me some good energy so we can keep this channel going strong. Love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.